all aboard for Treasure Island. With telescopes, binoculars, they ferry in from around the world to just off Ballycastle in Northern Ireland for Rathlin Island's staggering riches. Even the harbour nonchalantly alive with eider ducks and black guillemots. Minutes up the lane, the seals have hauled out at ease with human visitors. And the real treasure? Internationally important seabird colonies. Tiered cities full of guillemots, razorbills, puffins and kittiwakes. The island home to 15 red-listed birds at threat of extinction. By day, these cliffs and stacks look like thriving seabird colonies. But at the dead of night, nature's treasure is pillaged. White dots, brown rats. There may be up to 10,000 infesting Rathlin, eating the birds, their eggs, their chicks, night after night after night. But just as the little old woman swallowed a spider to catch the fly, Rathlin's fairy tale has turned nightmare. Ferrets introduced to catch the rats instead joined them in eating the seabirds. We've got to a point with the, the seabird populations here where they've pushed to the extremities of the island. So there's lots of seabirds here at the very edge of the island. While in the past, you know, we speak to the older people that remember the island before ferrets and they were breeding in many of the locations that we passed through today. The impact is, is there, it's quite visible now. So the puffins should be nesting right at the top of this cliff, burrowing in the soil, in the grassy areas halfway down. But instead, they're now confined to nests right at the bottom, having seen a decrease of over 80% in numbers since 1985, just when the ferrets were first introduced to the island. To prevent total collapse of the populations here, the RSPB is taking desperate measures Killing creatures, of course, always controversial, but here necessary to save treasured seabirds. So step in the rat and ferret catcher with 6,000 traps and an awful lot of bait and poison. And we're talking how many ferrets? Probably somewhere between 150 to 200 ferrets. And that's an enormous amount of damage on an island of this size. Yes, exactly, because uh, a single ferret can do a whole lot of damage. Um, so when you're talking about that numbers, it has a serious impact on the seabird colonies. But then there's the rats. They've got to go as well because the ferrets didn't get rid of the rats. No, exactly. So the rats have to go. This is a huge job. That's a massive undertaking over an island like this. And the terrain you're dealing with, as you go around Rathlin, you'll see it's tough terrain and, and tough weather. Such is the scale of the problem on Rathlin with the brown rats that they've ordered up to 16 tonnes of poison to get rid of them. That will take at least 30 people up to 60 days, and only then they think they'll be sure that all the rats have gone from the island. It's a serious undertaking. I mean, logistically, I've never tackled anything quite like this before. All the way towards the East Lighthouse, we'll have to be using rope access techniques to access the cliffs. This is dangerous stuff. Yeah, and we're taking it very seriously. The teams are working closely with local islanders on the ground to ensure the project's successful and every last ferret and rat is gone from Rathlin. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Alex. How are you? Very well, thank you. Come on board. Right. Lovely to meet you. For a small island community, this is a huge enterprise, isn't it? We um, need to get together, we need to get behind the project so that the project can be successful both in it, when it's going ahead and in the eradication phase, but also afterwards. We need everybody to understand that this is a lifetime project. Once the rats are off the island, we need to think about how to keep the rats off the island, yeah. which isn't to say that the rats might not come back on the island, but it's also about dealing with the rats that do arrive on the island and having a method of eradicating those rats. Because throughout history, where humans go, rats follow. So what happens here is being watched with some interest. The world looks on. The Channel Islands and several Spanish islands themselves infested by ferrets are looking at this place for the solution. If you interfere with nature by introducing alien species, then you are playing with fire. That happened on Rathlin, and the island got burned, badly burned. But this autumn, if they get this right, you could see an explosion of bird species here, back to what nature intended. <laughs>